Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Ninja Cheeto here. It's time for another episode of This Week in NGS. I'll be going over some info concerning the update for this week. There's a lot to cover, so let's jump into it. So the first thing I want to go over this week is the ranking rewards for last week's Cannonball Strike Party Play. It was actually incorrect for silver and bronze participants. And uh, if you look in the game, you can actually see today that the bronze players got three badges, silver players got seven badges, whereas gold players got 50 badges. So the, the gold pr prize was correct, but the silver was supposed to be 40 and the bronze was supposed to be 20. And Sega has put on the website here that they're aware of the issue of this bug and they're going to be doing some compensation later. I'm hoping that they're going to give everybody the correct number of badges that they're owed. Uh, we don't know for sure what the compensation is going to be yet, so let's keep our fingers crossed everybody gets what they're owed properly. Uh, hopefully it's not just some star gems. So another bug that uh, Sega put on the website that hit today is there's a couple of Ryukers missing in Kavaris. So if y'all go to look for these Ryukers, this is why they're not there. There's one currently missing in uh, Mr. of Woods uh, South, which is in central Kavaris, as well as Mount Latva North, which is in North Kavaris. And you can see up here is where the, uh, the northern Kavaris Ryuker is missing. And over here in the uh, central Kavaris is where this Ryuker would be missing. Like around here, it was added like a little while back. So the level cap got raised to 65 today. And I know a lot of you are thinking you're probably going to want to go do yellow triggers to level up fast, right? Well, I would strongly suggest just going to Redum El Noth, rank 4. And when you PSE burst there, you get insane EXP, especially if it's a Forte burst. I was leveling classes really, really fast. And on top of that, you're getting uh, like chances for all the new like weapons to drop and items and stuff. It's like really good for making Masetta right now. I would, I would strongly suggest doing that over running like a teammate of mine while we was doing these pse bursts he got like a rugged weapon dropped a rugged katana dropped for him uh, that was huge uh, and then you can also get the, the obsidia weapons uh, from the enhanced enemies too so it's really really good to go do bursting right now so all players in the game have the ability to hit level 65 as such the gigantics in all regions has been leveled up to 69 nice uh, edit PSE Burst F and PSE Burst F Encore to new ranks in the combat sectors. I did some of this earlier today. It's actually really nice. All the enemies are gold, has like a really big increased drop rates. Uh, they changed the PSE Burst as well to where it happens in different like rank sectors now and all different ranks like the Encores used to never happen in some of these lower ranks. So Sega ended up adding a Ryuker device to Mount Magus so we can finally get around there a little bit easier. It's like basically up at the top of the mountain. I'm going to show you all on the, on the screen here where it is on the map and also just like a little visual cue of it so you can tell where to go to to acquire this Mount Magus. Uh, coming here in the next like two weeks we're going to be going back to Mount Magus again when the new rank sectors get added for it. So make sure you all go grab this Ryuker when you get a chance. Something else nice that they added this maintenance is updrafters and lower McKeed level. Uh, if y'all played there before, you realize that that place is really hard to get around in too. But like you had to climb stairs on the side of these big buildings and stuff. So now there's updrafters to get around a little easier. That's pretty nice. So Sega uh, put the gather party members option enabled again on Ryukers. I'll show y'all in a little video clip here. This is actually really nice. So if you go to if you're in a party, you can travel to another block and like somewhere that you're going to grind and you want your party members to come to you. You can go to the bottom option of the Ryuker and there's an option for gather party members and when you select it your other party members are going to get a prompt and be able to confirm to come and join you and they'll t be teleported to you as long as the block has space and the room sector has space so it's really convenient for getting your your members with you where you want to play so a little special thanks to night arcs member mima a long time friend of mine really appreciate it thanks a lot for helping me make this clip also, Sega has changed the target range search of recruiting parties from the party maker. So Sega made it a little bit easier for players to find parties. As long as you're in the same block, uh, it used to be that you would match from the same room only, but now you can look for the same block as well. And you can actually, if you're in your menu, if you open your menu and go to communications and you go for search for currently recruiting parties you can actually see a list here and it'll show all parties that I, that have the recruiting party member option which you could find this in communication party commands 
And then in here, you could have recruit party members. If you want to try to get a hold of people for doing different things, you put some comments or whatever, like tasks and start recruitment. And then that would show up in that list that I just showed y'all. So that's a good way for y'all to party up with other people if you need to find people to run with. Well, they finally made it to where we're going to be able to travel directly to region mag. So when you open up your map, you can actually select a region mag and just go directly to it. Any region mag, you can just teleport there right away instead of traveling to a Ryuker. It's a little bit faster now to go feed your mags and get your uh, mag buff. They also changed the enhancement level of all uh, six star and below weapons and armor to level 60. They also changed the potential level of the six star and below weapons. If they're plus 60, you can unlock level five potentials. So a lot of the six star and below weapons are actually really, really strong now. They actually, they actually rival and beat Kaiser depending on which weapon it is. It's pretty interesting. So as you all know, a lot of uh, a lot of new items have been added to the game. If you're doing field races, you can get a hold of like capsules for like Might 4, Precision 4, Tech 4, Def 4. Uh, that's pretty nice. Uh, megalytics, uh, enhanced enemies, and equalizing enemies all have chances to drop different things. I've been hearing that enhanced enemies and equalizing enemies can drop. Uh, can drop the obsidia weapons uh, i'm not 100 percent certain if that's correct or not but that's what i've been hearing and also i know that these all can drop like uh different like types of class cubes and then the ex cubes and stuff too so that's pretty neat and then on top of that there's also like the gigantics in the game are dropping like gigantics uh, tech four for example and those have like three percent like potency so they're pretty nice they sell for a lot of money right now it's a really good time to farm and get money uh make money uh something i want to get a shout out here to uber elite earlier today i watched uber elite stream i'm gonna put a link to uber elite's twitch below so y'all can go check him out show him some follow love and hang out with him sometime when he's streaming he uh, he informed me earlier that the dark falls rank two triggers uh, end up dropping the seven star armors the new seven star armors all can drop there right now which the other two armors remaining uh, don't drop currently if y'all didn't know only the beltas can drop right now just like the range armors range and tech i believe is the potency uh three percent and uh so currently that's how people are getting the other two armors as they're doing dark falls rank two triggers and it's just a really rare drop in there i'll even show you all on the screen here a jp player uh, posted on twitter earlier confirming it as well so it's pretty nice a little shout out to uber elite for sharing that info he shared it with me way way earlier in the morning that was really nice he's a very knowledgeable player go check him out so Sega added an option that I've wanted for a very long time. They added a character direction too for the lock on target priority setting in the options menu. Now I'm going to show you all how to get to this. So if you open your menu, you can go to system options and then controls. It's just a couple down here. It's right here is where you would find it. By default, it's on camera direction. But uh, the new one that they added is character direction too. And you can read over here in the top right, prioritize enemy weak points and enemies in the direction your character is facing and that are the closest so now when you're right in front of a weak point it should prioritize the weak point instead of like on nexalia when i try to jet boot combo him and it locks onto his foot way across his body so sega added back the magnification mode option in the game which is pretty neat i liked this a lot back when it was here previously but it didn't last for very long i guess there was like a, some sort of bug with it but uh by default this is going to be off so if you're in your option your menu and you go to system and then options and then gameplay and then towards the very bottom down here is use magnification mode. You can turn this on, enable, and up at the key tips, you, it'll show you what keys it is for you. For me on the PlayStation controller, it's going to be L2 and start. So I'm going to show you all what happens if I use this magnification mode on. You can zoom in with the right stick, move the camera around and stuff. It's uh, pretty neat. A lot of little cool stuff you can do with this. Like harder to read things, maybe you can zoom in on or this whatnot. Yeah, so it's uh, quite quite useful. I definitely suggest everybody using that. And uh, you can just turn it off the same way that you turn it on again with the L2 and start for me, uh, whatever your all's controls are. So Sega finally added the, uh, the option to disable personal shop symbol arts from being shown. I'll show you all how to get to that here too. So if you go to system and then options and then over in sound and chat and you scroll down a ways, it's going to be right here in uh, symbol art display personal shops. Now I currently have streamer mode on, which it seems streamer mode just by default turns this off. 
Uh, so this is here if you just want to disable these uh, singly. And Sega also added a new option today uh, for simple model display. You can find this in options and then graphics tab and scroll down a bit. And you can see there's modeling one, modeling two, modeling three. Now on the top right of the screen here, it tells you what these are. One's a silhouette, one's just a white model, and one's a semi-translucent model, which is like a ghost looking uh, model, which is really neat. I think that one's like the best looking one myself. But it also says here that the processing burden for a burden for modeling three is somewhat large so you're probably gonna have to have like a pretty good uh, pretty good machine to be able to use this properly so a little bit got changed on the args id a little bit of additions in here if you go to edit the args id you can actually change your camera angle now so you can move this around it used to be that this was just like a still frame you couldn't really move this very much so that's been changed as well they also added like more background backdrops to this too there's more backgrounds to put on your character Sega gave us the ability to customize our quick menus today. When you're in your quick menu, if you hit R2, they can bring up a little edit menu here and you can get rid of these classification titles. You can see the classification titles would be in blue. This kind of makes the menu a little bit more cluttered. I removed them on this one already. I can show you if I apply this and then open it up here. You can see it's a little bit shorter. You can actually swap around all these different options and add in different things you like here. It's pretty nice, pretty convenient. So Sega has made it now to where you can finally preview voice tickets and music discs in the game without buying them. And also the treasure shop has been updated to where there's more music discs in here too. So I'm going to show you all for example, on the, the right side of the screen here, you can see there's a little play button now. Now I'm, I'm highlighting over this with my mouse. I know for your controller users, you're going to be like, how do I get over there? All you got to do for is look down at the very bottom of your screen. It's got like a key guide down here, change active window. For me it's L2. So whatever button that is for you all if you press the button over here and then you can hit you can click on the play and it'll actually play like a little sampling of the track the alliance badge shop npc tim got a updated stuff that you can trade in badges for today there's a bunch of different like urgent quest triggers in here now that you can get and there's a limit of one per week uh so you can actually sell these on your player shops too so it might be worth getting these and just selling them if you don't want to run them or you can get with your alliance mates and like you know maybe make like an mpa that's always a fun thing everybody use a trigger that's that's a good thing to do with your teammates so yeah keep that in mind these uh this alio one here in particular the mining rig defense alio this one you can trade for but you can actually use it for two weeks uh, because Alio's rank, like higher rank sectors, doesn't come for another two weeks. So keep that in mind. If you trade for this, you won't be able to actually use this one properly right now. So Sega finally added an option that I've been wanting for 10 years, and it's in Alliance commands for Alliance leaders. At the bottom down here now there's a number that you can adjust by default this is on 180 days before it shows a uh, message saying that a member hasn't been on for a long time now you can change it all the way down to one so i updated this earlier today and i can go through my offline list and i can see who all has been inactive who all has been active and see who all is playing without having to like bother people with like activity checks or like uh, you know data entry and stuff like that i can just keep tabs on people really easy via stuff like this you know some people are gonna just like have things going on in their lives you know it's gonna keep them from playing the game or whatnot or what have you you know and the, this is gonna be an easy way for you to figure it out if they're just not around anymore you know this is really really nice i like that they added this a lot so the item trader has the arcs record badge exchange shop here and they updated some of the camos that are displayed in here today that you can exchange for these will be going away they're limited until december 6th uh around maintenance time it looks like so we got the sylvia uh, sylvia almate cv and this is what the rod would look like for it here's the flamel almate cv and this is what the rod would look like for it and then here is the tempest almate cv so balance adjustment has been added to the game. I went over a whole bunch of the balance changes previously in another video. If you look up at the top right of your screen, it should link to that video if you want to see it. I'm not going to go over these balance changes now, but because I've already covered it before. They've increased the EXP and drop rate for the enhanced enemies and megalotics enemies, which is nice, uh, especially inside the PSE burst. And then they also lowered the attack stats of the following enemies, gigantics, megalitics, and ancient enemies. So 
it's a lot harder to get one shot now. They can definitely still one shot you with some stuff, but uh, it's a lot easier to fight them now, which is nice because it's kind of annoying just getting one shot all the time. So there's currently a couple of things on sale in the SG shop. If you go to the SG shop, there's some EXP tickets, 24 hour EXP tickets, 625 star gems, quite a bit of star gems, but uh, some of y'all might like this if you're going to be playing for a long extended period of time. Uh, keep in mind though, these tickets, they run even when you're offline. So like the 24 hour ticket, if you're you're not like staying up a full 24 hours that timers ticket when you're offline i actually hate this design i think the timers should stop when you're not online it promotes bad healthy uh things right it promotes bad health like it's it's making players inclined to stay on for 24 hours and i think that's not a good thing uh then there's also this 24 hour rare drop rate pack here 100 rare drop rate 24 hour again i don't really like the idea of these things 24 hour game sessions sure it's great you know i enjoy these sometimes too but that's also not really healthy you know so like uh, <laughs> i think it's really bad that there's not a a pause timer for this if there was a pause timer for this then this would be so much better so for those of you needing to top up on getting some ac there's actually a campaign going on for just this week for purchasing ac and uh there's a couple of some pretty good lucky uh, like emotes in here that you can get the sonic tales 3 emote is for getting a thousand ac there's some raggle memory I'll, I have a video guide dis, uh, describing how to use Raggle Memories. I'll, you should see that up at the top right you can click on. If you need that information, feel free to click on that and go check it out. It'll guide you right to get to use your Raggle Memories. And then uh, 5,000 AC or more is going to get like some drop tickets, uh, crab gl claw gloves. <laughs> it's pretty silly looking item. Motion glide tails. Uh, 8,000 AC or more is getting some EXP earned 50% ticket along with a pixel wrappy accessory. 10,000 thousand ac or more will get the motion dash sonic which is pretty cool Twelve thousand ac or more will get a, like some more exp tickets another crab gloves and another pixel wrappy and uh, there's a couple of like pictures here so you can see what they look like like the sonic tails three emotes pretty cute so today we got the melty blood style ac scratch inside of the ac scratch uh not a lot of this stuff really catches my eye i got the emotes just because i want to record those and show them off for you all later uh there's a couple of like motions that are okay and like camos that are okay hair is okay i didn't really care all that much for the outfits like one of them's all right it's not really my thing uh in particular i thought it was kind of neat that there was like there's what five music discs down here so y'all might want to check those out unfortunately it looks like the preview music button does not work uh on these even though they just implemented a preview music option uh, today and they didn't implement it on everything apparently now there is one more known issue that i wanted to point out to you all that's pretty big this is required material items and in the setup for limit breaking may not display correctly so i don't know exactly what this means but just keep in mind when you're going to limit break something the the materials and the meseta that you're seeing on the screen might not be correct okay so that's going to wrap it up for today what are your thoughts of the update let me know down below in the comments if you enjoyed the video, a like rating is always appreciated. And if you're new here, be sure to subscribe. Also come follow me on Twitch, Ninja Tito. I stream PSO2 along with other games and enjoy chatting with my viewers there. Thanks for watching. Stay safe and have a wonderful day, friends. See you in the next one.